Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live after 5 a.m. and it is 9:14 a.m. But we're still live after five. But unfortunately, I won't be live when you hear this recording because if it's a recording, then I'm live. I guess you'll figure that out sometime. All right, we have an exciting class here today. Uh, we've had a lot of selfies taken today. No selfies on the tablets, please. That goes for everybody, including the big L back there. So today I'm going to put in a jump button. This guy is going to be my jump button. Uh, so this is going to be BTN jump. Imagine that. How complicated programming is. And right here I might just say something like jump. Wow. Imagine that. How it... <laughs> this is mind blowing, isn't it? Yeah. Round? This guy's 36 by 36. I'll make it 36 by 36. And uh, we can make it red. Why is the text not centered? There you go. There's my big J jump button. All right. Yeah, jump button. So what we're going to do is I have to put in a timer. So where are timers at? I got to put in a clock. <coughs> it's called a clock. And I'm going to call this clock jump. This is my clock that is for a jump. You go into sensors and you put in a clock. And you're going to want your jump speeds to go pretty quick. Yes. So you're at a, you're at, actually we could go really slow here first. Are you with me? Oh, I want to make it fast. And then you can make it fast later. All right. So when I click on this jump button, okay, first of all, we probably need to go to screen one initialize in here. And we need to make sure the clock is off. So go down to your, we could just go get this guy right here. And this is going to be clock game times, not, no, I'm sorry. This is going to be clock jump is off. So <clears throat> when is clock jump going to get turned on? Whenever, click it. Whenever you click the jump button, right? So now you can go over here and grab this guy. And now clock jump, when you click jump, you're just going to simply, simply turn the timer on. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is create a variable. Does everybody in here know how to create a variable? Yes. Okay, I'm going to call this my jump time. Okay. And jump time is going to start out setting equal to zero. And now you guys can go down into your clock jump, and you guys can make this guy jump. Are you with me? So how do I make a jump? Well, the first thing you got to do is start. You got to start counting. Okay. So this is clock jump time. Is going to do the math. The clock jump time plus. Go get your jump time. And this is clock jump time plus one. Are you with me? You guys with me on this? Everybody know how to do timers now? Who, who's getting better at timers? Letterby? Letterby? You're getting better? You're getting good at taking selfies too. So that's fine. 
you are a professional selfie taker. That's good. No, I'm just joking. I'm glad you guys have fun in here. That's what I want. By the way, I, I got a shout out to my man Brad here who's got a killer app. If you guys have not played his golf app yet, it's a stellar app. Okay? So, <clears throat> are you guys with me here? Yes. So, watch this. I can do a control if statement here. If, okay, if your game time, I could say something like is less than four. All right. You missed it, man. We've already had a fun class. A lot of selfies going on in here today. You missed it. All right. So I can do some math here. And I think this guy is saying less than. If it's less than or equal to, so if your game time, jump time, is less than or equal to four. Are you with me? Because we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So what I can do now is create a procedure. And I'll say increase increase jump up vertical okay and then I can have another one we can descend down vertical okay so let me finish this. I'm going to do an else if. Else if. If the jump time is greater than. I better just do greater than four. Okay. If the jump time is greater than four, what do we want to do? So this guy, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to jump upwards, and then this guy down here, I'm going to descend downwards. Who understands that? I'm jumping up, and then I'm coming down. I'm going up, and then I'm coming down. Are you with me? Okay. And then over here, I just go get my Mario guy, IMG Sprite Mario. And we could do a move to if you want. And then you go, is his X's going to change? I don't think so. You could have his X's change slightly, but I don't think so. It's probably going to happen so fast, he's just going to go up, down, up, down, right? Boop, boop, right? And then over here, I could say something like do math. And how do we go up? Do you guys remember how we go up? Is up adding or subtracting? Up is subtracting. You're a genius. Thank you. Okay, so I can copy this guy and just make it a Y. What happened? Brad, what would you do? Brad, what would you do? All right, so this guy is the Y. And then, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. we got to play with these numbers. I'm just going to say, okay, you're going to go up like 5 pixels. 5, 10, 15, 20. Maybe you want to go more. I don't know. We'll play with it, see how it looks. That's why we test and debug. Are you guys with me on this? And then down here on the descent, then all I'm going to do is this is y plus 5.
And this is why plus five brings you back down. <coughs> and then um, I can do an if statement here, right? And just say if <coughs> if my game time is equal to eight. If my jump time is equal to eight, then just reset it back to zero. Okay. If my jump time is equal to eight, then set set my jump time set my jump time back equal to to, to, to jump time. Set my jump time back equal to zero. And just let it start back over. Are you with me? And then, um, what should happen to your timer when you, get to, when you get to eight? Should the timer keep running? No. No. So the, the timer, you got to go and take your timer and turn it off, right? So you just take this guy here. When I get to eight, I got to turn my timer back to fault. It's got to stop running. So you can actually put a timer inside of your timer and say, hey, turn off. Okay, let's go see if this runs. All right, so that should be all the code you need for how to run um, this guy right here. This should be all the code you need to run and jump. I'll put it right here so you guys can see it. Blow it up a little bit. Okay, can you guys see this? This should be all you're going to do. Let's go over it one more time. Jump time's equal to zero. When you click the jump button, you're going to turn the timer on. This is going to start ticking. One, two, three, four. If I'm less than four, I'm going upwards, plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five. If I get over four, if I'm greater than four, when I'm at five, right, I'm going to go down, 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 down. When I go to six, I want to be back down at zero. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I should have four going up and four coming down. Let's see if this works. Run your tablet. Who scanned it in? You, you were too. Now I don't get it. I now, uh, if you're scanning it now, I don't get to scan. Dismiss that guy. I gotta see if this works. What? Yeah, I, I thought it was gonna be really slow, but that's okay. I want to see it go slow because I want to see if my my speed's going. There you guys go. Look, look at look at my guy going up, coming down. Watch. There he goes. Up, 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 up. And now he's coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's my jump. So he's going up. So, so when I hit click, <coughs> yeah, reset, AI companion, go ahead. So, all I want to do now is just change the time interval. So, I'm going to duplicate this guy right here. 
set this guy interval and what did you say a hundred milliseconds So my time interval, I'm going to make 100 milliseconds, which is 10 times per second. Connect, reset, AI companion. Scan it in. Oh, that's cool. Did you guys see my jump in here? Because of the way... Watch, watch. See him jump? Okay. So, because I had true or false statements on the jumps, it's gonna, he's gonna keep going. X, his X's are gonna keep going. So that makes my jump even better. Makes it even more realistic. Why don't you just come up and take a picture of this with your cell phone or your, or your, all right. So this is how to jump. 